Ah, I give up. As you can see, I'm not very good at doing kendama tricks, but luckily for me, I know some Photoshop. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I used Adobe Photoshop Elements running on this Sony Vario Tap 11 device. And I also used this Sony QX100 lens style camera to take some pictures of some of my friends. Then I took it into Photoshop Elements and edited it right there to create this impossible kendama trick. And of course, when I say impossible, I mean impossible for me. I know some of you out there could probably do this for real. But before I get to the part about Photoshop elements, let me show you some cool features of this camera itself. Now, as you can notice, it has this NFC logo, which means if you have a device that supports NFC, um, like this one, the Tap 11, you can put the two logos together and it automatically launches Sony Play Memories Mobile. And right now it's in shooting mode. So as you can see, I can just point the camera any way I want and I can see what's going on on my device. And I can even do things like spot focusing and changing modes and certain settings. And of course, actually trigger the shutter itself. And you can also use these kind of mounts to attach the camera itself but that's purely for convenience because you don't really need the camera to be physically attached to the actual device in order for it to work so once i know which pictures to use uh, i'm gonna just choose this option called open with and launch photoshop elements with the pictures that i need to open and when I do that it automatically opens the pictures in Photoshop elements and as you can see there are many different modes that you can run Photoshop elements in uh, there's a quick mode the guided mode and in my case I like the expert mode because the, the interface becomes a little bit more similar to Photoshop CC which I'm more used to so in expert mode, I'm going to make a selection using the quick selection tool. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can have a closer look. And I don't need to be too precise with it. All I have to do is roughly tell Photoshop elements what I need to select. And when I let go of the pen, notice that the selection is tweaked based on the edges. That's really smart of Photoshop Elements. And I can either choose Edit Copy from the menu or I could from the keyboard to make a copy. And I can go back to my previous image and edit Paste. And as you can see, the size is not quite right. So what I'm gonna do is go to my Move tool and pull the edge a little bit. That feels just about right and I'm going to put it right on top of this element over here scale it down a little bit and then I click on this check mark to confirm now notice there's this extra string that I don't want there to be so all I have to do is choose the spot healing brush and carefully draw a line along the string and Photoshop elements can magically get rid of that string. Let's also do the same thing to the shadow of the string. And now it's as if it wasn't even there before. Now it's starting to look pretty good already, but I'd like to make it a little bit more realistic by actually pushing this element behind this part over here. So to do that, I go back to my original layer and 
using my quick selection tool again, I'm going to select this one over here and make a copy. And I make this layer visible again. And I'm going to paste it right on top again. Now notice it brought a new layer when I pasted that. So when I did that, Now notice how this element is on top and maybe we should make it a little smaller. And now it looks like the piece that is behind it is actually behind the picture that we composed on. And that's about it. And uh, of course, uh, if the colors are not matching up, you can always go to the enhance menu and adjust some levels perhaps, or the color balance, contrast. But in this case, I think it's looking pretty good already. So see, it was that easy to put that together in this Sony Vio Tap 11 device on the go, because I can easily carry it around. It's a very thin and light device, and this keyboard is detachable. So if I don't need the keyboard, I can even leave this behind. And I really like the fact that I can take these casual photographs and edit them right there on the spot without having to wait until I go back home. And of course, the, the lens type camera also works with your mobile phones, including iPhones, Android phones, and Sony's own phones, of course. And as I showed you earlier, if your phone has NFC capabilities, you can even just pair them automatically just by tapping them. In case of the iPhone, you have to connect it using the Wi-Fi settings. So there you have it. That's how I showed off my Photoshop skills on the go while hanging out with my friends using the Sony QX100 lens type camera and the Sony Vario Tap 11 tablet PC running Adobe Photoshop Elements and Sony Play Memories Mobile. Actually, if you want to check out more of the pictures I took at the time, you can go see them on my Instagram stream. My ID is the Kush. Okay, so maybe if I practice a little bit more, I could maybe get as good as those guys over there. Let's see. Oh.